Oh, good day, everybody. Welcome to Akadaka Stacker. All right. I'm um, doing this as my first real education video in regards to a comment that was placed that I didn't actually show a coin. So today we are going to have a quick lesson in platinum. This is, whoops, this is the, trying to get the shine away, is a big five, 20 rand platinum coin, South African. Yep, I'm holding it with my hands. This I do not have to worry about, as I shall explain. Unlike silver, you don't really want to be touching it. But this stuff, along with gold, can be handled with your hands and just wiped off with a cloth later on. Now, sorry about the shine. I've got my door open. I'll live in a little garden shed if you really, really want to know. Okay, and it's hot as hell. I had to take this out of a plastic capsule because it hit 40 odd degrees the other day and it was in the capsule so damn tight that it cracked it. And I'll just reach around here and show you how it cracked. All right, so it was in there as a permanent resident. All right, on with the educational video, as you know, well, as you may know, I work in a scrap metal yard. I've got 10 years experience in scrap metals, but I am generally new to precious metals as we all are starting to wake up. I shall just put that down. And if you take note of these, take note of these, okay? And this coin as well is a part of the my stack which I've set up as like whoops I just found it or it fell out of the sky or like I did earlier with the ice cream container crap cash for precious metals so anyway on we go all right I've written out some stuff and here it's a bit um can get a bit involved so as we all know platinum sign PT has an atomic number of 78 it's in period 6, group 10. Its name comes from Spanish, platina, diminutive of plata, silver. Properties, dense, malleable, ductile, highly unreactive, remarkable corrosion resistance. That's why I can hold it with my hands. It has a silver white color. It's a transitional metal. It has a melting point of 1,768 degrees C. For you others, that is 3,214 degrees Fahrenheit. A boiling point of 3,825 degrees C, which is 6,917 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a density, and I'll tell you, it's smaller than a gold coin, and it's heavy. It has a density of 21.45 grams per cubic centimetre. It has a magnetic order, magnetic, sorry about that. Tensile strength of 125 to 240 MPA. Now, I haven't really worked out what the hell MPA is. In other words, I think that it's uh, pretty tough. Now... It was used by the Egyptians as gold platinum. It's, apparently it's been found in some of the tombs. It's been used by the Esmeraldas, an Ecuadorian state, in 600 BCE to 200 CE. It was officially discovered and first reference writing ever appears in 1557. The writings of an Italian humanist Julius Caesar Scaliger, right, but the official, the official discovery is by Antino de la Laura, 1735, so once again, this metal really hasn't found its niche yet, it is tough, durable, like you, apparently you can bend this thing all day and it won't snap, um, most of the uh, platinum 
is 80% of it's in South Africa. Only a few hundred tonnes of produce annually due to it's hard to get. It seems to be everywhere, but it's hard to refine. And it's considered as a noble metal. Hence the reason why your credit card goes silver, gold, platinum. Now, uses. As we all know, it's used in CAT converters for exhaust systems. That's why it's generally, in Australia, $1,000 less than gold per ounce. It's used in lab equipment, electrical contacts, electrodes, dentist equipment, and jewellery. Also used, believe it or not, I did not know this one, in the glass industry to manipulate molten glass. In the glass industry, they use a lot of tin. That's how you get your nice window panes. So apart from all that, that's the quick spiel on it. Um, I'll just do my best to hold it still and just get a little bit of a better look at it. Just from what I know of the series, the Big Five, it comes with, oh, what was it off my memory? It's an elephant, a rhino, a buffalo, uh, a cheetah or something. And they all go together. Boom, boom, boom. So in other words, they sort of look like a fenya when you join them together. As you can see here on the sides here, you have a half of an elephant and half of something else. So apart from that, if you... In my retrospect, if you can't afford to buy gold, grab platinum. Yeah, a lot of people might, but it is a noble metal. It is actually meant to be higher than gold. Sorry about me shaking. It's how I'm leaning on the table. So if you can't afford gold, platinum is the way to go. I think its niche will really come into vogue probably in the space industry when we start deciding to get out there and wreck everything out in space too. So all in all, it's a big five, beautiful big lot, uh, sorry, elephant on here. I'm sorry, I was looking at the lion picture. Um, yeah, so any other queries, questions or anything like that, I'm pretty sure you all know how to use Google and Wikipedia and everything because I get tired of being a walking, talking encyclopedia. So in regards to the platinum, there you have it. I think it is a marvellous metal, to be honest. And it's sort of like shone on that nobody really likes it because gold and silver take all the honours. But as I said, this may come into its real, real use in the next 10, 20 years. Never know. But at the moment, it just kills all your exhaust fumes in your car. So just to go on, I'll let the camera refocus again. As you can see, yep, we stick to that. And uh, yep, if you haven't worked out, we're from here. So... These four items are what you just all have to keep an eye on. Uh, any other coin that I will pull out uh, will be in my 2023 stack. This is from my 2022 stack, and this is what you've got to keep a track of. And at the end, we'll pick out a winner, but not by that crazy spin the machine thing. It's going to be by who is correct and I shall send out at my own expense and cost to the correct winner of an Akadaka coin got Angus Young on there and she's very shiny and she also comes in this beautiful display box which she lives in here, which she comes with a number, and she goes in there just like that. Comes in a box, really nice. There you go. From Ram Australia, Royal Mint, etc. etc. So this will be the prize for those who, and if a couple of people get 
the same amount, it's going to be first in best dress, mate. I ain't going to muck around. Okay, I'm only just started. I work 10 hours a day in a scrap yard. And so there you go. Platinum. If you can't afford gold, go the platinum. I don't know about if you should go fractional, because here in Australia, one-tenth costs about 180 bucks at the moment. But I suppose, you know, it's up to the person themselves. Uh, the Australian Skippy, done by the Perth Mint. They do a platinum coin as well. I've been trying to get hold of one of them. But I always get distracted by good old AG. There we go. There's the metal detected gold there. And here's the ones that were from crap cash into precious metals. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, any tips, suggestions? I'm open to them, even if they hate, don't really care. Um, yes, I know I do need to get a better setup because I've just got this stupid wobbly thing that holds the phone, and every time I move, it bounces, it carries on, the wind moves it. All right, well, all I can say, if you haven't started stacking, do it. If you've been doing it, good on you. you got a brain in your head. Thank you, everyone. Bye.